In this video, I would like to go over a few journal entries you might need to prepare to record transactions that occur when common stock is issued. Entries might be quite the same if preferred stock were issued instead. Use the preferred stock account instead of the common stock account. Here we have a company authorized to issue 950,000 shares of $8 par value common stock. We are to prepare the following journal entries for three transactions that occurred. Okay, so here is our, I'm trying to use my highlighter, our par value is $8. Let's keep that in mind. That is the amount that is assigned when the company establishes their charter. Also, the amount that the number of shares that can be issued or sold was established in that charter as well, 950,000. This is the number they are authorized to sell or issue. Then on March 1st, sold 115,000 shares of the common stock for $9 per share. So you notice that's more than the par value. So this is a premium on the stock. This is how you would record this transaction. The cash account is going to be debited for the 115,000 shares times the amount that was actually paid, $9 per share, which would be $1,035,000. Next, you need to set aside an amount to the common stock for the par value of that stock. So the second line is for common stock to the common stock account, 115,000 shares at $8 per share. That is the par value of the stock. That multiplies out to be 900 and we'll credit that common stock account. And then we have this other account. We call it a PIC account many times. If you look at the bottom, what this stands for is additional paid-in capital in excess of the par value of the stock. So I just put a PIC. You might just see PIC. We often call it a PIC account, and it is for common stock. The C slash S stands for common stock. And this account is going to hold the overage, that amount that was paid above the par value for the stock. If, again, you were issuing preferred stock, it would work the same way, except you would have a PIC account, an additional paid-in capital in excess of par value for preferred stock. And by the way, the PIC accounts are considered paid in capital just like your stock account. Your common stock, preferred stock are called paid in or contributed capital accounts. The PIC account for them, both of them, if you have two, would go along with them. They're all considered additional paid in capital. Let's look at number two on March 25th. So March 25th exchanged 20,000 shares of common stock for equipment. Market value of that equipment is $195,000. So we will date the transaction. We'll record the equipment at its value at $195,000. We have not given, given any cash for this transaction. We've just given them some stock. So the common stock will be the second line here. Common stock needs to be valued at the par value. 20,000 shares were given for this equipment times the $8 par value would be $160,000. We're going to again use that pick account for the common stock to hold the overage so that we can balance out the transaction. So that amount would be $35,000. And then up to May 1st, exchanged again 750 shares of common stock for a total of $8,000. So, and this was for legal services during the company's organization. So we have organizational expenses valued at $8,000 as told to us in the facts. Common stock was given to satisfy those legal service debt, 750 shares at $8, so we'll need to put that value into the common stock account. These are not dollars that we're moving into that account. This is just a dollar value that we're moving in there. And the overage will go into the pick account for common stock, and that balances out the transaction and our journal entry. Again, you might see this with preferred stock or common stock. It would work much the same. 